right, in this video, I thought I would show you how to draw on a UI component. So I'm going to hit my little draw button here. And now I can do some drawing, right? There we go. And if you don't like what you drew, you can hit the space bar. Boom, delete it. So I thought that would be pretty cool. You could do little challenges and stuff, how people draw stuff like, like on the squid games with the honeycomb. So you can see where I'm going with this. But first, you have to learn how to draw on a UI component. So let's go ahead and get a fresh world and see how that's done. There we go. I got a fresh world here. I'll get rid of that. I'm going to go and put a start. I'm going to go my starter GUI, screen GUI, frame, right? There we go. We got our frame. And we have our frame. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. And we'll center it. There we go. Now on the frame, I'll call this draw frame. I'm naming it draw frame. I'm sorry. There we go. Now I'm going to put a local script on that. And I'll call this draw. Draw. Oh, I call that drawn frame. Let me just change that in. There we go. All right. Now let's get a reference to our frame. And I'll just call it FRM. That's the draw frame, right? And then I'm going to get a Boolean called is drawing. It's going to be either true or false. We're either drawing or we're not. So we're going to start out with it false. So when you're holding the mouse down, it'll be true. When you lift the mouse up, it'll be false. When you're holding it down and dragging, you're going to be drawing, right? So that's how we're going to do it. So unfortunately, we're going to get the X and Y location from the screen GUI itself, from our, our input. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to normalize that so that it gets on the frame. I'm going to use this TL pixel. It's going to be a little confusing. I'm going to get the frame and I'm going to get the absolute position. I'm going to use that absolute position to make sure the pixels are on my frame and they line up where I want them. All right. Let's go ahead and make a function to make the pixels, to color the pixels, right? We're going to make a point. All right. We're going to pass in the X and the Y and we'll create a point, which is going to be an instance of a frame. We're going to make a tiny little frame and that's going to be our point. So the parent will be FRM, which is our draw frame. All right. And we're going to have a round point. So I'm going to call, I'm going to make this rounded variable instance new. I'm going to make this UI corner. The parent will be point. All right. So when you put a UI corner on a component, it rounds the corners, but we want to change the corner radius so that we'll do a UDIM so that the entire thing is round. So 0.5 is the halfway of the smallest size, or the smallest side, uh, the smallest side on the component, and since it's square, that's going to make that's going to make it totally round. It's going to make it a circle, right? So this is the scale. This is the offset. I'm using scale on this one. I want to make it 50 percent. All right. Now let's get our point and make our color, right? So we'll make a color three from RGB. You can pick whatever color you want. Should we do blue? We did red in the demo. There we go. Here's some blue. All right. And then we'll get our size of the point. That's also a UDIM2. We're going to do from offset. I use absolute pixels. I'm going to make it four pixels by four pixels. And then we need the position. So the position is where it's going to show up on the frame. All right. So I'll get my UDIM2. Oh, I don't want new. I want from offset. And I'll say X and Y, right? That's this X and Y we're going to pass in. We don't have those yet. We're going to get those. Then I'll do this anchor point. And I'm doing the anchor point. I'm changing the anchor point so that it's 50% on the X and the Y, which actually puts it dead center in the middle of the point so that it looks like your mouse is drawing it right exactly where your mouse is. And that's what we want. If it was zero and zero, what the default is, you would be putting the frames on it in the upper, using the upper left corner of the point, right? Because the point is actually a square. It just looks like a, a circle now with our UI around it. All right, our UI corner, I mean. So let's do one more thing. We're going to get rid of our border around our picks, around our, our point, right? Because we don't want it to have a square border on a circular pixel or a circular point. 
keep saying pixel. All right, so that's it. That's what we need for our make point. That's cool. Now what we need to do is we need to set our drawing flag to either true or false. All right, so frames, much like the user input service, have the input began, and then we're gonna connect that. So we're gonna connect that using our mouse for the input. So we'll say if input user input type equals equals input uh, what is that? Sorry, enum user input type mouse button one. We we started pressing down on mouse button one, right? As the input began. So we'll say is frame equals uh, true. All right, so the so ending is going to be the same. It's going to be so much the same, but I'm just going to copy this. Boom. Let me put an ended. So it's input ended is when you lift the mouse up, right? And that'll be false. All right, we're going to stop drawing. Now, the next event is going to be a little bit different, but I'm still going to copy it. I'm just going to have to make sure that I don't miss anything, right? So not input ended. We're going to do input changed right and then this isn't going to be mouse button one it's going to be mouse movement right we aren't going to be doing we're not going to be setting the flag is drawing but we will be using the is drawing flag we're going to say if is drawing and so if this is true and this thing is true we're actually dragging our mouse let's go ahead and make a point all right so if i pass the x and the y in from input what is it position x input position y it's going to be the mouse's position over you know the over the entire screen so we need to make sure it's on our frame well up here I got my top left pixel of my frame from the absolute position of the frame. If I subtract top pixel X and I subtract top pixel Y, look at that. That is going to make my pixel show up on the frame where I want it to. You can do the math. You can get these numbers and subtract them out. Or you can just trust me. That's fine. Let's try it out. See what we got. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There we go. All right. But we can't clear it. I want to hit the space bar and clear it. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. It's pretty easy. So if we go to input began, we already are catching input um, from our keyboard. The frame is catching the input. So what I think I'll do is I'll just do an else if input key code equals equals, what do I have? Uh, enum key code, I'll do the space bar. Space bar, then I'll get all the points off of my frame, right? Get children and I'll destroy them. But oh, guess what? I have a script on that frame. So I'm putting points on there and they're filling up, but the script's on there too. So I got to check. I got to make sure it's not a script. So I'm going to go through all of the points. I'm going to say for I and V in pairs points do ah points. There we go. I missed an S points. I'll say, V, that's the point. So this is going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six. These are going to be all the points, the little tiny frames that are on your on your frame, on your draw frame. I'll say if V, if V is a frame, then V destroy. Cool. And that will delete all of our points on our frame. Let's go ahead and try it. And here we go. I'm making my little square, my little honeycomb game. Crack. Oh, I want to start over. There we go. <laughs> you have to actually have focus on the frame now, right? So if I'm over here, 
it won't do it. I got to click on the frame. There we go. So I thought that would be pretty cool. Anyway, good luck with this. It's a really good thing to do. Um, and I think you'll find it not too difficult.